Are you okay, Blake? Don't touch, touch him! him. He's, He's mine! mine. <laughs> Make him stop! What did you do that for, Natalie? What are you talking about? <laughs> don't remember, don't me. remember me! Sophia, don't! Come back here! Natalie! Or Sophia, whatever, stop! Natalie, what are you doing? Get up the road! Watch out! If you see Natalie, send along this message. I know that you've been through an awful lot of late. Girl, steady the trembling hand. That's what you do. Come in. Hey, Blake. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, did you go to visit Natalie? Yeah. She's still in a coma, but her condition is stable. Doctors say she could wake up any second. Great. But will she be herself again? I believe so. I haven't dreamed about Sophia ever since they removed her body from that room. They found it? How? Let's just say they've received an anonymous tip. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of Sophia, then. It was so sad. She really believed you were Dante. But he died over a hundred years ago. What happened in that room, anyway? She must have told you. I mean, you were her best friend, weren't you? But you give it a rest already. I wasn't her friend. She just made me help her by torturing me with her memories. Okay, I got it. Just tell me the story. Well, Sophia's mom, Agnes, was a prostitute. Getting pregnant with Sophia was a mistake, but she took it as a turn for the better. She'd let them pay her money to use Sophia. The girl wasn't allowed to leave her room, so she lived a lonely life in captivity. Then one day, she saw Dante while looking out of the window. He was the son of the local grocer, but his dad had an alcohol problem. He liked to take his frustration out on Dante. He started sending notes to one another. Who can say they fell in love? Then Dante started dropping by, which was okay with Sophie's mom as long as he paid her. They wanted to run away together, to a place where they both couldn't get hurt anymore. But on the day of their great escape, Sophie's mom found out and warned Dante's dad. He caught them, and in his drunken rage he beat his own son to death. Sophia was locked into her own closet to starve. Then Dante's dad covered it up and so Sophia's body remained in that room. And so did her spirit. She believed that Dante was still alive and she wanted to find him. But how could she mistake me for Dante? <laughs> You're a bit of a Dante to me. You were the only one besides my mom, of course, who visited me. I think Sophia envied that. You also look a bit like him, so when I brought you into the room she thought you were Dante visiting her. She wants to go look for you. So she took Natalie's body? Well, Elizabeth was too strong for her, and I also told her to leave her alone. She did because she thought I was her friend. Well, how is Elizabeth doing, by the way? I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know. She hasn't really talked to me since I moved back in with her at all. I think she's still upset by the whole thing. But I know she'll manage. She always does. Natalie! What are you what doing? Are you doing? Get, Get up the road! Watch out! 